Are e-scooters for everyone? The answer is no. Why is that? Well, the first reason being that e-scooters vary, so there's different styles of them and also different price ranges. So with the price range and style variation and types, there's different brands. The first reason being is that it's a lot has to do with the rider themselves. So say, for example, you've got an adult that's 100 kg that rides this scooter, but the maximum capacity for this scooter is 70 kg. This scooter is not going to perform the way it should do. So you'll get reduced speeds and potentially performance such as braking. So there's all sorts of things to consider. But in regards to the weight distribution, you'll have another issue with that. 100 kg is far too much weight for this scooter if it was 70 kg max, not saying that it isn't. This is just a general example. The second thing is that not everybody is able to ride a scooter based on their actual capabilities. So you get a lot of kids that you see now in the streets and they're riding scooters and things like that in the roads, which of course they shouldn't be. Not only is that dangerous, but then the question comes to mind, not everyone is able to ride an e-scooter because it is a motorized vehicle, right? It has an electric motor that spins the wheels and it is technically still dangerous for somebody to ride an e-scooter that's not properly able, uh, that hasn't had the training or hasn't been able to ride one. So is it for everyone? No, of course it's not. Children shouldn't be riding scooters like this. They go up to 50 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour certain ones. So how is that safe for them to ride? It definitely isn't, right? The third thing is the fact that the price range, not everyone can afford an elite scooter, which is over a thousand pound, right? So if you're opting to go for the lower tier, as we've mentioned, the weight distribution, the way that uh, the scooter is designed you might not be able to buy the one that you desire and then you're left with a lesser version of the scooter that you thought you'd have so there's some like knockoff copies of these particular scooters that you might see roaming around but then again they may have faults and things like that so are e-scooters for everybody i personally don't think they are there's a lot of ups and downs to them especially if somebody gets caught riding one of these on a public road by a traffic officer for example will they get penalty points on the license i don't know you can go ahead and research that. In my opinion, do your research before you actually invest in buying an e-scooter because there's so many variants and so many different things to consider before investing time, money and effort into buying an e-scooter. So there you go, guys. Stay safe.